Alright, here and welcome to my first tutorial on this channel. What I've been getting a lot of requests for is how to do some of the shading that I've been doing inside of my Brawl Mods. So I was going to show you how, but before I start, let me just show you a couple pictures. One of the things that I have been using a lot in my mods are normal maps. What a normal map is, is kind of this blue and red texture. You can't really see the red very well, but just right here in these corners. And what it's for is it calculates on a mesh how the shadows should react whenever the light hits it. So here on the left you see before the normal map, and it's just a regular cube. But here on the right, when it has the normal map texture, it's kind of a fake way to add fake geometry and kind of tell the lighting how and where shadows should go, depending on how the light hits it. So like, oh, you probably can't see it very well. Let me zoom in. Uh, not a very good quality picture, but anyway, this kind of shows what a texture looks like without any normal maps. It's just kind of your brick wall. It looks kind of flat, kind of ugly. You can see the light hitting and it's just going across. It almost looks like a piece of paper with these bricks just kind of painted on. Um, so when you go to the next image right here, it's the same picture, but this time it has a normal map added to it, adding in that fake geometry. You can see the indentations where the bricks the mortar's kind of going in, and you know, here where the light's hitting it, it's, it's appropriate. It looks a lot more realistic. So that's what I've been trying to do here in my Brawl Mods. So here is an import that I've done uh, kind of recently. It's a mod of Ganon, you know who he is. It's a mod of Ganondorf here from Super Smash Brothers Ultimate, but I backported him into Super Smash Brothers Brawl. So you can see here, there's the textures on them. They look fairly decent. It, they're straight from Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. No alterations have been made. But here in the next picture, I've added in the bump and the normal maps. For me, it makes a pretty significant change, especially while you're playing. You go back here, you look at his hair, and you can see, you know, there's some shadows here that mark, you know, where the hair goes in. But then when you see the lighting for it, it almost looks like it adds geometry to his hair. So also going back here to like the tuft of his, uh, the tuft of his clothes right here, you go in and you click it and you see that it adds some of that lighting here up on the top. And you could also see that here on the edges, here in the fur, you can see it there as well. And in his shoes, these little bolts right here, they have a little bit more... Uh, it almost looks like some additional geometry that's added when you see the comparison. So I really like adding normal maps because it just makes it a lot more fun for me. So that's what I'm going to show you how to do is add these normal maps. So what I've done is I've gotten the mod that somebody else has done. Um, as soon as I can find there he is, by Brave Dragon Wolf. And he has already imported in Ridley into Super Smash Bros. over this guy. So I just took care of putting Ridley into the game. So what we are just focusing on is doing the shading. So let's open the game up real quick. So before we open up the game, what we're going to do is open up the graphics. Go here under enhancements and click on per pixel lighting. Now what that's going to do is that's going to open up some options. I'm going to look at my settings real quick from my personal build that I did, so that way I can just kind of remember what I did, because I kind of like the settings that I used. I brought up the rim intensity up to about right here. Um, I brought both of these kind of to the middle, actually. Don't know why I did, but I did. And I brought that all the way down, too. Okay, perfect. All right, so we've done that. Then you're going to go to Advanced and uh, Prefetch Custom Textures, which should always be checked because I think that really helps when you have HD textures. And you're going to load Custom Material Maps. So what these are doing, these are actually loading textures and materials from outside of the actual game and into the file structure that Dolphin has. And I'll kind of explain it a little bit more as we go along. So I'm going to open up the game. So here is Ridley from Smash Brothers Ultimate. And he is imported over the modern Ridley that Brave Dragon Wolf has done. Let me check. Yep, that's his name. Brave Dragon Wolf has done. So you can see here with the textures, um, 
right here with the wrinkles of his skin, there's little shadows here and there to make it kind of look like he has the wrinkles there. Now, I actually haven't tried this yet, so I don't know what the end result's going to look like. It could look really bad, so that's just my disclaimer in advance. So we're about to find out. So I've already collected the textures that we need. I've gotten the, you know, just the regular bump map that I've showed you earlier. And what you also need is called a specular map. Now where it's white shows where it's going to be a little bit more glossy and where it's dark, it's going to show obviously where it's going to be a little bit more dark. Now that I think about it, I can tell you right now that this is way too bright. So I like to kind of keep it around that 50%, that kind of gray area a little bit. So I'm just going to quickly darken it just a, just a hair. Just a little bit. That's probably more of what we're looking for. So just go over it. I just realized I forgot a texture. I'll show you later on how I added these textures in here, how I've kind of converted them from what they look like in Smash Brothers Ultimate, because in Smash Brothers Ultimate, the textures look a lot differently than what I have here, but I've had to kind of adjust them to work out for this game. There, I added the other Ridley texture because I almost forgot about it. So now what we're going to do is we're needing to align the texture from the game. So how you do that, um, first let me exit the game real quick, or exit this course. <clears throat> I forgot to hold L. Oops. So before I enter into the stage, what I need to do is go back to graphics, go to advanced, and I need to dump my textures. All right. So now what just happened is I've loaded up the game and every texture that's in here has been dumped into this cache that I'll show you here in just a second. I'm going to go ahead and turn that off because I just don't like leaving it on because then your folder gets really messy over time. So kind of how I set up my files and you know you obviously don't have to do this but it's just what I kind of like to do is I open up four files. One where the textures are and I just put that down on the bottom. Um, then I open up where the raw files are I just realized I don't need my fourth one because I've already converted these textures. So I'm only going to need to open three of these files. Um, go to desktop. Like you know, I'm using Legacy XP and Legacy XP uses Ishiruka. Where the Dolphin files are at is if you just click Dolphin LXP. You've all seen this folder if you've downloaded it. You know, you drag your Brawl ISO here and it magically works. You hit Dolphin, Config, User, and that's kind of a lot of the stuff that you need to know. If you take a screenshot in the game, it's going to end up here. Uh, when you load your textures, they're going to come from here. And when you dump your textures, this is where they're going to end up. So I'm going to pull it up. I think that's Bowser's or Ridley's eye, I'm not sure. So here are Ridley's textures. It looks like he's already been using a spec map of some kind here for Ridley. You know, I'll probably just leave this alone, but this is what's really important right here, is his skin texture. So what you do is you actually just copy right here what the text says, and you paste it in here. And this is normally how you just load an HD texture into the game. Now for these two, you give them the exact same name, except for this one, add a dot .nrm at the end. And for the spec, you just add a dot .spec, dot .spec. And that's pretty much it. Then you use this other app, and I'll put the link in the description, called Texture Encoder. So how you use it is first you go to your desktop, pull up your Ridley texture, and this is your source folder, and then you're gonna set your destination folder. I'll just put this in the desktop as well. So I'll create a new folder 
you know what? Screw it. I'm just putting it in a new folder. And that's it. So you hit start. I'm going to rename this to Ridley because I just don't like it being new folder. And this is what the folders look and this is what the files look like in here is you have the skin one and this one's the HD because this one's only 512 by 512 what was actually inside of the game. So he only has a 512 by 512 texture. This is a 1024 by 1024. So it's a little bit more HD which is awesome and you're also adding in the normal map. So we're about to see how it looks like. So fingers majorly crossed. So let me put these back in their corners because yeah, it just helps me out a little bit if I have a little bit of tiny bit of order. So I'm going to go to Legacy XP. Oh, my bad. That's my own build. Um, Legacy XP, Dolphin, Config, User, Load, Textures. And this is the name of the game file right here. And I'm just going to create another folder called Materials. And this Ridley file that we already got, I'm just going to drag it in and drop it. And that's all I need to do. So I'm going to minimize all of these. Probably just, uh, who knows, I might need this again just in case I screwed up. I'm going to go back here. I'm going to pull this guy up. I'm going to go to graphics, advanced, and how I just kind of do a little refresh is I hit load custom textures, so I turn all the custom textures off, and I turn it back on. Perfect. So you could already see that it's added some geometry to him, and uh, I, I think it looks pretty cool, actually. I really like it when you could kind of modernize these old games a little bit. So right now you could see right here the legs that I was talking about earlier, you could see a little bit of shine here up on the top a little bit, but I think it looks pretty good. If you have any questions, just let me know and I'll do my best to answer it however I can. But I hope that really helps and I'll talk to you later. Bye.